Hey, it's Dave and Evelyn from The Camera Store, and today we're giving you our first impressions of the OM Systems OM-1 Mark II. The OM Systems OM-1 Mark II is an evolution in the OM Systems lineup, formerly known as Olympus. So the naming conventions in the past used to be very confusing, we found. It's still <laughs> yes. So OM Systems <laughs> making their OM-1, that's pretty simple, one being their flagship camera. This camera system is known for being rugged, outdoorsy, a compact system in terms of both cameras and lenses for the most part. And we're gonna talk about how it stacks up, what's new, and our overall first impression. Now, when it comes to the design of the new OM-1 Mark II, there's not much different than the original OM-1. That's a good thing. The camera is very well designed. They're one of the best weather sealed cameras out there. They're the only brand that actually puts out an IP53 rating on their camera. Most cameras will say, eh, we're weather sealed, we're weather resistant, yeah. but they don't put a number on it, right? This is really fun for us because we can torture test them a little bit. You know, we can put a lot of snow on them. We've taken them into pools. We've taken them dog sledding in minus 40. We've done some very Yukon. bad things to Olympus. We've done some really good and fun and things survived. with them. Totally. <laughs> the other thing is with the camera is it still feels really nice in the hand. The grip is great. The controls are nice. I like they have a lot of dedicated buttons on the OM system cameras. And they did slightly tweak the dials, but they don't really feel that much different. No, it feels very similar to the previous OM-1. And that's a good thing. It's a fantastic little camera. Yeah, still a great user experience. All right, Evelyn, if the body is still much the same, what has changed in this camera? Well, Dave, for <laughs> starters, we have some enhanced autofocus performance. They've added human body detection, which really does help with the tracking. And right away, the first thing we saw here was some adorable little birds. We wanted to give that a go. And it, it does seem to be a little bit stickier, a little bit more tenacious in terms of tracking the subject. So it definitely has been a good evolution in the OM system. Now, one of the big headline features on these cameras is their digital ND filter. Now, the original OM-1 had a digital ND filter built into it up to an ND64. What this means is that I don't need to apply an actual physical filter to the end of my lens to reduce the light intake. I can get a very similar effect by doing it all digitally. Now, the original one was ND64. The new OM-1 Mark II goes to ND128. Yeah, but that's e like seven stops. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah. But even more impressive and more functional, I find, is they have a graduated ND filter. This is very cool. If I have a very bright sky and a dark foreground, I can equalize that exposure in camera. And I can actually even twist it left or right a little bit if I want to form the shape of a mountain, for instance. And you might be thinking to yourself, like, well, sure, I could do that in post as well. And of course you could. However, this is nice to have in the field and have that experience. You're able to see it with your scenery. And it really does kind of aid in your experience of getting the results that you want right out of the camera. The other thing I really like about this camera is that it's 20 megapixel sensor. And you're like, ah, yeah. it's not enough resolution. I want yeah. more resolution. Well, we have a handheld high res mode, which will take us up to 50 megapixels. Yeah, let's just like think about that for a second. It's pretty cool cool to be able to walk around and if you see something that you want to get a really high resolution image of you can just do that you don't have to worry about pulling out your tripod you know opening up the legs or doing anything like that it's all ready to go right in the camera i mean that's sort of the i mean the genius of this camera system is that i don't need to carry a tripod around for nearly as many exposures as it would a traditional camera system yeah it's like the ultimate trick feature camera hey dave i do i do like a lot of the tricks it pulls off <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of handheld, Dave, there is also eight and a half stops of in-body image stabilization, which is going to be a huge asset for this camera for both photo and video. I mean, even today, out playing around with the ND128 filter, I'm able to shoot two-second handheld without really any issue. Yeah, or if you're shooting with longer lenses, like the new monster lens, the <laughs> 150 to 600 millimeter, which is kind of crazy for micro four thirds, but it is going to be a huge asset in those situations for doing the slower exposures as well as for video. Speaking of video, there hasn't been that many upgrades as far as the video quality goes, but there's a couple different functionality points when it comes to video. Yeah, before we get into the changes, I just want to mention that it is a good video tool. We have the articulating screen, we have the headphone jack for monitoring audio, dedicated record button, has a lot of really good things going for it. That in-body image stabilization is also going to really help out but yeah as far as changes go we're not seeing a lot we have a vertical video mode which is super handy you can take it right into post have it already in your vertical orientation. That's super handy, especially for content creators, people on the go. Uh, you also have the option of making this into a really nice high-end webcam. And that's great. I mean, imagine if you're out traveling the world and you want a very small little package, but you're vlogging and you're showing off to all your fans and your, your family, what have you, right? You've got a very high quality webcam with you all the time. 
Overall, Dave, the OM Systems OM1 Mark II is a subtle but nice upgrade to the system. And again, the experience of using an OM Systems camera is fantastic. And I do feel really secure when we're out here kind of walking around. You know, we're right by the river. We could fall in at any moment. <laughs> and we know that we have that really good weather ceiling. They're durable cameras and they're totally meant for the outdoors. I mean, overall, OM Systems has built a camera that is feature packed with a ton of stuff that you don't have to carry as many accessories when you're out traveling and they keep it in a very small body that can handle the elements. But of course we want to know what are your thoughts on OM System, the new camera and just Micro Four Thirds in general? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you like and subscribe. This has been Dave and Evelyn from the Camera Store and we'll catch you again very soon.